Hey guys, welcome back. After that horrible bad ending we had last time, we're gonna do the last bad ending of Matthew's Root. And uh, I don't think this has anything to do with how Matthew's Root goes, but we haven't picked Scream yet and it's in my notes, so you know what? Let's just start it off with a bang. I needed to. I had to. My anger and sadness bubbled and boiled until the need to scream pressed against my throat, forcing me to let it go. How's that? As my scream escaped me, the other beings in the room jumped back and covered their ears. My scream wasn't weak. It was loud and bounced around the room in an endless echo. I didn't care if my throat would hurt. I didn't care that I also felt the pain of my shriek. I just needed to scream and let out my sadness. Why was this happening? Why? Why? I wrapped my arms around my body, letting the scream use up all of the air in my lungs. It wasn't helping, but I just needed some sort of release. Damn it, stop! All of a sudden, my body began to heat up and I felt my voice dissipate into silence. I was a little dizzy, but I felt calm and the anger I had was gone. I stared at Diana, wondering what was going on. Diana had extended her hand out at me, staring at me with a pained expression as her visible eye glimmered a warm golden color. Was she enthralling me? I didn't feel aroused, but I knew that the warm feeling in my body was a demon's enthrallment spell. Regardless, I felt my throat heal from the scream as I stared at Diana. Are you calm now? For a human, the girl can really shriek. Better than the sirens can, that's for sure. <laughs> Poor thing, she must be traumatized. Traumatized? Or psychotically mad? Shadow calling it like it is. Everyone, oh, hush! Silent engulfed the room as Diana looked at the four beings behind her. She then turned back to me and held out her hand, ushering me to take it. Can you stand? I nodded and took her hand, standing up at last. Okay. So that was that. Um, okay. So that's gonna be it for a while. Bring you in when we actually start different options for bad end number two. I picked bad options from bad end number one until now. So I'll see you in a little bit, guys. Okay, now we're getting into different options. So, this time when... Hey, what's wrong? He asked me this question. I just calmed down. I knew I wasn't going to get anywhere being mad, and I didn't want to let him know how frustrated I was. There was nothing we could do anyway until the battle was over, so I had to suck it up and deal with it. <sighs> I shook my head. Nothing. Nothing's wrong. Sorry. Matthew frowned a bit before bringing up one of my hands and kissing it. Alright, well, if anything is wrong, just let me know, okay? I nodded, happy to know that he was open and ready to support me. As they always are. These sweet boys, okay. And the next option is going to be a fun one. Nightmare time. And instead of promising not to run, we ask him to make us our, his queen. See how he responds to that. Make me your queen. This was crazy. He had me as a prisoner, a slave to his whim. However, he seemed to care enough about me to kill someone for hurting me. It was worth a shot. Matthew, however, let out almost a bark of a laugh. <laughs> me, king of the demon world, marry a human? Like hell I will. Besides, even if I made you a succubus, your energy would be wasted. My heart broke into pieces, but my anger flared. This was not my Matthew. I gripped to the bars and snarled through them at my captor, imagining the man in front of me as a stranger and not as the man I loved. What is wrong with you? Let me go! A violent cackle erupted from Matthew as he leaned close to me, pulling my chain harder to pull me against the door. That's okay. Get angry. You know what they say. Angry sex is always the best. Oh my god, I can't. <laughs> I can't when it comes from Matthew. Ugh. I snarled even harder, disgusted at his words. This was not the man I loved, nor would he ever be in my dreams. Matthew only let out a chuckle as he finally drew back and slid his hand up to the end of my chain. I'm not in the mood to take your energy now. I'll come back another time. Yeah, you better run. Okay, so that's... Uh it for now. There's quite a ways until he, we come across him in our room. That's the next choice. 
So I'll bring you in when that happens, guys. Alright, there's that dead-eyed stare. So, when there's nothing happening, instead of kissing him, give him a smack across the face. I didn't want to do it, but I had to snap Matthew out of whatever stupor he was under. I bit my lip and shut my eyes. Oh, sorry, Matthew. With a breath, I raised my hand and smacked him across the face, causing him to gasp and the pale blue in his eyes to fade back to normal. Ugh, hey! Ow! Well, that was a quicker snap. Matthew gripped his cheek and stared at the ground before looking up at me in shock as if he had been stirred awake. Matthew, are you all right? You were spacing out like no tomorrow. Remembering the dull tint in his eyes almost creeped me out. The way his voice came out of his mouth only added to the creep factor of the situation. I wasn't sure what got a hold of him, but I broke him out of it at least. Matthew rubbed his cheek and stared at me like I had suddenly grown three heads. Why? I furrowed my eyebrows as he replied. Yeah, I'm fine. I was just looking at the fire. It's pretty warm. Uh-huh. Alright. So this time, we don't insist on going to his brother's. We just say, Okay. Matthew seemed adamant. I swallowed my nerves and nodded slowly, taking in a breath and letting out a sigh. Matthew leaned forward and kissed my forehead, thankful that I was willing to trust him. However, trust wasn't the issue. I trusted Matthew very much. Alright, and then, let's see. Skip, skip, skip. Okay, we're gonna stay out of it again. And this time we don't comfort him. We don't say anything. As much as I wanted to comfort him, he mildly deserved the warning. He had threatened Diana's life because he was simply surprised. He already had enough problems. He didn't need to make any more. Matthew let out a sigh, slumping his shoulders before shaking his head. All right. Let's just eat and go. Okay. And let's just be... Yeah, stuff with Yengibai and their wives. So we'll skip all those cute things again. Okay, and this time I just take his hand instead of hugging him. I didn't know what to say. Matthew was going through so much that I wasn't sure if anything I could say would help the situation. I placed my hand over one of his fists, caressing it softly with my fingers. Matthew didn't move, taking in my actions and trying to relax once again. A peaceful moment of silence passed between us before Matthew so softly pulled his hand away and looked me in the eyes. I don't understand why you like me at all, you know? And this time, we just press our forehead to his instead of kiss him. So there's, like, zero fun times in this one. I press my forehead to his, staring into his blue irises and let my words burn into his mind. I love you, Matthew. Matthew remained silent for a moment, letting the air take hold of the sound, before he very slowly smiled and nodded, nuzzling his head against mine. I love you too. We remained there, taking in the sounds of our synchronized breathing and letting our hearts eventually beat as one. We get through this to that bad ending. Yeah. Okay, only a couple more options. And then that's it. Say nothing. And the last one is that we apologize to Diana. And I guess that makes Matthew snap. <laughs> we'll find out very soon. Do, 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 do. Uh, apologize. All right, let's see where this goes. Oh, so I go in there. He probably kills me in the barrier. Oh no, this is gonna be bad. Still, I believed in him. I slowly stood up and walked over, opening my arms for him. Matthew, I love you, and I'm here for you. Please, break through this and come back to me. Slowly, Matthew walked forward, slowly reaching out his hands for me. I could see the desperation in his eyes as he tried to listen. Yes, that was it! I walked forward and held his hands before feeling them slide up to my cheeks, warming my face with his palms. You. Oh no. 
For a moment, a glimmer of his blue eyes filled my heart with joy. The next, a shiver of sudden dread ran out my spine. You are so pathetic. Oh, oh dear, there was a hiccup there. I didn't get a chance to do anything before his hands gripped my head and twisted it back, snapping my neck and killing me. No! Never trust a monster. Uh, plot twist, Angel was the monster for being the way she was. Oh dear. Uh, Welp. Quick. It was, it was quick and then hopefully painless for the most part. I don't know. Okay, so that is it. We're done with Matthew's thingoos. Thank you guys for watching. This means now we get to return to Date Warp and date a guy who's dating a girl who's in a coma, question mark. So I'm very curious how Nathaniel's route's gonna go. So hopefully I'll see you over there for that, guys. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, I will see you later.